Hi, I'm Jeroen, an astrophotography enthusiast from the Netherlands. Join me on my journey to photograph the wonders of the night sky. Welcome to my channel. This is Starscape. I live at 52 degrees north latitude. In the summer, the sun doesn't set enough below the horizon to get truly dark. They are called the grey nights. It's a super boring time for me as an astrophotographer. However, the long wait is over. Darkness will finally return this week. But first, I'll go out to scout some potential locations. So what I'm doing right now is uh, just walking around and keeping an eye out into the south because the Milky Way core will rise in the south. Uh, basically I'm looking for some kind of subject which will make my composition more interesting than just including the Milky Way core. I've been walking around here for some time now and I haven't found any compositions. So yeah, shit happens, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scout another location. So see me on the next one. check how the composition will look like at night in a couple of days I normally use photo pills if you are in the main menu like now you click on the night AR the night artificial reality and you just scroll the time until the time you want in my case the night 21st on the 22nd somewhere around 039 and you just can use your camera and check where the Milky Way will be I think I found my composition. Sitting here on this bench, I mean, it's not the best or most interesting subject in the world, but yeah, I think I can make it work as a small story. I mean, imagine me sitting here as a subject, a stargazer looking into the Milky Way. Uh, perhaps my uh, star tracker, my photography setup uh, uh, right next to me. And besides that, I don't think it's is the worst place in the world to spend a couple of hours under the night sky here, right? I think I'll see you there, I'll see you here, in a couple of days. Good evening. And welcome back to the bench location. It's been a super hot summer day in the Netherlands with the temperatures rising up to 40 degrees. And even now around 10, 20 p.m. it's still 25 degrees. But that means we have, perhaps you can see it in the background, we have beautiful clear skies. So I'm super excited. There's actually a small challenge tonight because um, when the sun begins to set low enough to have complete darkness or almost complete darkness we have a moon rising so the moon will probably shine some light on our scene but hey looking to the forecast for the coming days i thought we'd take our chances right now and see what we can get So 
tonight I'm shooting with a Star Tracker. That means we're going to shoot the sky separately from the foreground. Uh, with a Star Tracker it just tracks the movement of the Earth compared to the stars. So you can uh, make really long exposures. Like for example uh, two or three minutes. Uh, let's see uh, what we get tonight. Um, yeah, so let's uh, set it up right now. Finally, as dark as it gets at the moment. Let's take a look at the settings. I'm uh, photographing at ISO 800. I'm making uh, sub exposures of uh, two minutes each. It's f4, 24 millimeters, and that gives me a pretty nice histogram. <laughs> Wow, what a night. You can see uh, the moon and Jupiter rising behind me. And just before this we were shooting uh, the Milky Way and although the sun didn't uh, go down behind uh, beyond 16 degrees, uh, it went pretty dark out here. And it was such a nice experience to photograph the Milky Way again, finally in the Netherlands. I am over the moon right now. <laughs> So if our uh, yeah if the results turn out to be any good here's the results 